What up guys, Super Metal 1983 here bringing you another CD review from Sunland and this time I've got a 2013 release to review for you which is could quite possibly make me top even three albums of this year but we'll have to see as the year goes on but yeah this is what I'm going to be reviewing for you today yep this is the 2013 album from the band Killswitch Engage entitled Disarm the Descent this is released under Roadrunner Records yeah I was right um, for those of you who haven't followed me um, since the beginning those who do know I'm a massive Killswitch Engage fan um, they were pretty much one of the well pretty much the first band that got us into the metalcore um, melodic metal genre and just to kind of prove a point really um, to prove that I am a massive fan I have got their first album, the self titled one uh, this was the late, second latest one I acquired and it's alright, it's not the best work but still some good stuff on there and you got Alive or Just Breathing which I've only recently just started getting back into so I absolutely love it I've also got The End of Heartache uh, uh, As Dear Light Die, sorry uh, this is the special edition one with the bonus tracks but this is still without a shadow of doubt my favourite Killswitch Engage album and also I've got their second self titled album or as it's referred to Killswitch Engage 2 um, but yeah this is the band's sixth album and it was released early on this year and I think if I'm not mistaken it was one of the first um, metal albums of 2013 that I actually acquired if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong on that but yeah no one's perfect but yeah, uh, this was an album I was really looking forward to, um, in a way, because, um, well, a couple of months before the album was due to get released, um, they sadly announced that um, Howard Jones, who had been on the previous Kills and Gage albums from uh, End of Heartache all the way to the second self-titled, and... I was quite sad because he is one of my biggest inspirations for my vocals um, from the beginning so and he, he's still one of my favourite vocalists of all time so it was kind of, I was kind of shocked and bummed that he left but uh, I was like I'm going to keep open minded a little bit about this because I don't know what's going to happen and then I heard some rumours and stuff that they were getting a new vocalist in very soon and about a month maybe two had passed and then they announced the return of Jesse, who was on the uh, first and second album. And I was quite pleased with that, but I was also quite nervous because, in my opinion, Howard is a better vocalist, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. And having them bring uh, the old vocals back, I wasn't at first keen on his vocals um, at first, but um, I thought, okay, I'll give him a chance, see what he can, what he can prove to us all. And, right, this is still Killswitch Engage as we know and love, without a shadow of a doubt. Still got the mel the melodic, the huge melodic value that they've got in their music is still there and it's always pristine, it's amazing. Um, this time they've kind of gone, in, as I see in it, the DVD and it perfectly has, they've gone for a more faster, more aggressive side. Um, they've even said it's going back a little bit to their older, older selves and you can kind of feel that within the music itself um, there's quite a number of blast beats across the whole of this album and I think that's good but um, I was kind of nervous when they said there's blast beats in here I was like oh that might not work for Kill Switch Engage but when I actually sat down and thought about it after listening to the album I thought Yes, if it wouldn't, if it if it wasn't blast beats, it wouldn't work. So, but that was a good um, thing that they did there. A nice approach to it. Um, drum wise, you've got a really, really strong attack with the drums and a very loud kit. Um, probably is the loudest kit I've heard on any Killswitch Engage record so far. Um, I thought the last album, the second self titled, had a really loud snare and really loud atmosphere in it but this is just took it that little bit 
higher, but not so much that it ruins the album. And I'm really happy that they did that. A uh, really supreme sounding kit with uh, just a, an overall great, great sound. Uh, even in the the lighter, lighter songs like the song Always, um, it's really, really well mixed in with the, the mix of the guitars and stuff like that. So I'm happy about that. Uh, bass, you've got also got a very nice attack from the bass. Um, a very bright, clean, clear sound from the bass. Um, there's no real distortion on it. It's just a really nice, bright, super nice sound, and it's just overall well mixed within the guitar. Uh, with with the guitars, sorry, my bad. And just the way it's played is just really well um, established and. Even in the breakdowns, you can hear it quite clearly, and it's cutting through unbelievable. I thought some like um, on the last couple of Cannibal Corpse albums, the bass cut through well on those albums, but this one bl blew it out away from me, and I absolutely love it. Uh, the guitars are pretty much the same sort of kill switch engage um, style, very um, very melodic, very um, very high pitch. Um, sounds they always use the higher strings for the melodic uh, ways that they do it and it really always defines kill switch and gauge um as a lay dying sort of kind of sound if you if you're not into kill switch and gauge if you, and if you're a fan of as early dying but you haven't checked out kill switch and gauge then you can check out this it's pretty much the same sort of thing um very heavy chugs and very clean chugs not super distorted but still distorted <clears throat> distorted clean just a really awesome guitar tone and just just a great overall sound from the guitars and the bass and the drums so that's great great to hear um especially on a kill switch engage album when you kind of expect that from them I, I mean this is their sixth album so you can kind of expect that from this excuse me um right and now we move on to the big part which is the vocals now, Jess, as I said, Jesse coming back was a bit of a nerve wracker for me because I prefer Howard's vocals. But when I heard them release the first single, which was um, "In Due Time," um, I was I was really blown away. I was like, "Yep, this is this is it. This is the improvement I I was expecting and got." Um, is his vocals have a lot more defined clearness to the oh, sorry clarity to them. The the screams are very aggressive and very um very loud and very just overwhelming to hear. Um his laws mixed in with um I believe Adam does some laws on this album. Um the sound very crushing, if you ask me. Um just just a real nice overall sound from the vocals. Um, very aggressive, but not too um, out of place, if you know what I mean. Because you've still got the melodic guitars that need some melodic value mashed up with the vocals, if you know what I mean. But I have to say, some great vocal work. And Jesse has come in with some of the ble sorry, <clears throat> some of the best cleans I've heard across the Killswitch Engage discography, even Howard's. Um, really nice um, cleans, especially in um, In Due Time, A Tribute to the Fallen, um, I think it's you, you Don't Bleed For Me, The Call, and the song Always. Uh, just amazing, just really good stuff, and I'm, I'm happy to say that I think he's, if he's going to stay in the band more then two albums, then Killswitch Engage are looking at one of the biggest futures in the metalcore genre I've ever seen in all my life. So I wish them luck with that, and I hope you, if he, if he's ever watched this review, which I highly doubt it, but if you do, I hope you continue along this path because it's absolutely amazing. And the lyrical content is just amazing. Really, it really hits you in a really good prospect and. You can really reflect on some of those. I mean, one of the songs that they've just recently released, and I'll leave a link in the description to the Injury Time um, music video, the lyrical video, I think it was, for the, A New Awakening, and I'll also leave their new music video for 
the song Always, which has turned into one of my favourite songs on the album, but I, I still think In Due Time is the prime part of this album. And Always would definitely be a second with A New Awakening following behind that. But still, across the whole album, it's great. And you get, uh, I think it's three bon sorry, two bonus tracks, as you did on... Um, um, I think you got it on the As Daylight Dies um, album. You got three, born, uh, four bonus tracks. Two of these ones on this one are two other songs called Bloodstains and Slaves to the Machine, which are two incredibly killer tracks, and they continue off the album and make you just want to listen to it more, if you ask me. And then at the end, you've got um, Numbered Days. Uh, sorry, Numbered Days. If I can say that properly. Numbered Days. My bad, and my curse being performed live, and those are some pr supreme live tracks. And I think maybe one day they will release a live CD. And even though I'm not a fan of live stuff, if it's the quality of that, um, those tracks at the end, the last two, then I would definitely pick it up and change my ways of the live albums. But yeah, this is a fantastic album, a good return to form for these guys, and. Compared to their discography, I have to say this has turned into, I have to say, my second favourite Kill Switch Engage album behind As Daylight Dies. I don't think it's as good as that one, but that's because I prefer that album. But this is still a fantastic album and great, great album to listen to. And for that reason alone, I have no choice but to give this album a 10 out of 10. A real return to form after the three year wait, changing vocalists and just... Coming out with some memorized, <clears throat> what's the word? Memorable, sorry, uh, memorized, <laughs> memorable songs that can stick in your head. They've been sticking in my head for the past God knows how long, and I'm I'm pleased to call myself a Kill Switch Engage fan for all those albums and this album as, uh, especially. So with that reason alone, um, I rate this album a ten out of ten. Really check it out, and if you get a chance to pick it up. No matter what price it is, buy it. It's well worth it. You won't be disappointed. Disappointed. Sorry. All right. Um, so yeah, my next video. I have no idea what it's going to be, but um, it'll it'll probably be me updates and purchases part two, because um, I've I, well I've managed to get a couple of CDs like uh, between that video and this one. So I've got to mix those in as well. So I'm going to sort it all out. Wait for me Washington to come back with the shirts that I've been getting and then I'll be able to show you what I've been buying recently. So yeah, maybe some other CD reviews will come along because I've got a few planned that have been that have been blown in my face, if you know what I mean. And I've got a couple of promos on the way, so keep an eye out for those. So yeah, I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal!